Colorado is a study in natural barriers and vast landscapes. Remarkably, this rugged region boasts one of the most collaborative healthcare environments in the country. Of the more than 5 million Coloradoans, more than 670,000 were covered by Medicaid in 2012, many of them enrolled in regional care collaborative organizations. 11% are covered by Medicare and 60% are commercially insured. Across the state, there's a spirit of pragmatic cooperation based on the principle that we must take care of our neighbors. Multiple innovations in healthcare delivery are evolving here in primary care, payment reform, behavioral health integration, multi-payer alignment, and data sharing. Groundbreaking programs are underway, such as the Comprehensive Primary Care Initiative, the Colorado Beacon Consortium, multiple Medicare ACO and Innovation Center demonstrations, and the Medicaid Accountable Care Collaborative. Colorado uh, was founded by pioneers, and I think that culture persists today uh, in the work that's going on a century and a half later here in, in healthcare. And I think um, there's a culture of self-reliance, there's a culture of uh, commitment to community and recognizing that we're only as good um, as, uh, as the support we're providing for our neighbors. We have a very proud sense that we want to take care of each other and ourselves. And that requires a dependence on each other. And I think Colorado has a great deal of that. The single most important lesson that we've learned about the medical neighborhood in Colorado is that we have the answers right here in front of us. They are locally generated, they are community focused, and they are also focused on the citizens in our state. Colorado is achieving community-wide engagement, fostering development of new skills, new tools, and workforce resources. Information technology, data exchange, and new analytics capabilities support practice transformation. We have more than 30 hospitals uh, exchanging information with more than 600 doctors on the eastern side of the state. On the western side of the state, 85% of the hospitals and doctors are exchanging information. So we're far ahead when it comes to health information exchange. We also have an all-payer claims database that's in use today and live. Coloradoans are exploring uh, new ways of improving healthcare in their community. Ground level, uh, bottom up ways of improving healthcare. Local investments and cooperative federal agreements helped accelerate practice transformation and health IT infrastructure. The leadership needed for Colorado's healthcare transformation is homegrown, grounded in local commitment. Now, local leaders are driving Colorado's Medicaid Accountable Care Collaborative. Providers and care teams can leverage new sources of data and new processes to account for the health of the population as a whole. Using medical home as a foundation, Colorado leaders are working to engage specialty providers and community resources to coordinate more effectively across multiple care settings and payer sources within a medical neighborhood. I think that uh, in my experience this is one of the very first communities to sit down and take stock of the medical neighborhood and try to think concretely about how to implement that concept. In Colorado we're enhancing care transformation with a very unique collective engagement of many many stakeholders. We have our Colorado Medical Society, we have a bipartisan legislative support, we have input from lots of providers from a wide safety net, um, as well as from the private sector and large integrated health plans. We are educating our membership about uh, what's required to become a quality-based organization rather than a volume-based organization. Uh, we are educating our legislators and working on advocacy to see that payment reform takes place uh, that supports uh, the functions of the medical neighborhood and the patient-centered medical home. The top ways that physicians should prepare to advance the neighborhood is adjusting their mindset and their attitude and then preparing inside their own practice. I know that I frustrate specialists sometimes if I send them a patient without complete data, without a clear understanding of what question I'm asking. So there are lots of ways to, uh, to initiate that relationship. Maybe we sit down together and agree on sort of the rules of the road. How are we going to work together? I think what's important is that um, as big and as complex and as daunting as many of these problems and issues are, um, there is action that we can take now.
We're excited about the potential that Colorado has to take a leadership role in developing medical neighborhoods and accountable care organizations for Medicaid populations. It's really exciting. Sometimes it's terrifying because we don't really know exactly how to do it. We have to adopt quality over volume. We have to seek out health information exchange. Uh, I liken it to being in the restaurant business. If we had lousy food, we could not merely raise the prices on our lousy food to uh, be able to get the uh, capital we needed to buy fancy cooking equipment. One of the things that Colorado has that helps in its quest for sustainability of patient-centered medical homes and population health management are enlightened payers and leaders. They put their money where their mouths are. Payers continue to collaborate with each other and with physician practices to move away from approaches that pay for volume toward approaches that pay for value. Value-based payment emphasizes person-centered care. In this time period right now, we're, we're in between two payment systems. It's going to be very important that as we convene communities of primary and specialty physicians together, that we think about ways to support both the transfer of information and the time spent on both sides of the coin around coordinating care, um, that we find ways to uh, compensate that and incentivize it so that we get the outcomes that we want. One of the most important things that needs to happen within the medical neighborhood is comprehensive payment reform. And to dive a little bit deeper into that, what we currently have are two pots of money that exist. There's a pot of money for mental health and there's a pot of money for physical health. What that does is it actually relegates those specialties to the respective arms of their silos. When in reality what we want is more comprehensive integration with one pot of money that can pay for health. Colorado is working to integrate care and adopt a whole person approach to health. Building on Beacon and other large-scale collaborative learning initiatives, Colorado communities are creating a team-based workforce with the skill set and infrastructure to deliver comprehensive primary care. Payment models create accountability for the total cost of care and integrate behavioral health services, allowing all stakeholders to benefit from savings and reinvest gains in more efficient systems. The communities have the solution. They have the relationships with the primary care providers and they have the relationships with the specialists. The first simple next step, what can you do by next Tuesday, is to bring the groups together in a transparent way and start to have a conversation. Colorado's progress as a learning lab and innovation hub is accelerating. These healthcare pioneers recognize that comprehensive transformation is necessary to create better value in healthcare at a lower cost to employers and individuals. But to achieve success, continued support for program flexibility, rapid cycle learning, and public private partnerships is essential. Form follows finance. So rewarding outcomes rather than piecemeal services is the only way to achieve a more efficient system. Colorado will continue to lead by example and learn from other innovators across the nation.